hi everyone um, so let's understand uh, the problem statement from customer point of view in today's video right and this should be the approach for any data engineer um, any solution architect data architect to listen to the customer first and then jump to the solution in fact ask all the relevant question to the customer so that as a solution uh, architect data engineer we can look for the look at the bigger picture and we can solve the bigger problem because sometimes um, when we just look at the problem from coding or pipeline data pipeline or solutioning point of view we might miss the bigger picture right so let's see uh, the problem statement from customer point of view so this is your problem statement right in two our scenario we have two companies the first company is let's say called fabricam and the second company is cpl cpl is simply was city power and light and we will talk about both the companies and what exactly their functionality and what they're doing so let's first talk about fabricam so fabricam is nothing but your energy management company right energy management company which works with the enterprises and what it's do it provides the reports monthly reports to them reports to these enterprises um, and these reports are very detailed reports which will tell them um kind of which days they consume most of the energy um you know um and the total energy consumed and these reports are in form of physical letters we will come uh, about uh, how these reports are produced in in some time later but this is what fabricam is so sim simple fabricam is a energy management company now let's talk about what cpls do so cpl is kind of electricity board right electricity board or electricity producer company right so what cpl do uh, cpl is uh, uh, providing electricity to different customer um, and basically right now they have a program or a offering for the enterprise customers there is one offering for enterprise customers um and they are calling this offering as um smart energy offering right and what this offering is that if certain enterprise customers are showing uh, electricity saving electricity saving in peak hours right in peak hours or they are showing some efficiency in electricity consumption then these enterprise customers can get some uh, rebate and discount in energy rate in energy so basically what customers do they consume some energy right and uh, they will pay bill for them but if these customers are showing that okay they are using energy efficiently and they are you know saving energy then they they are applicable for some rebate now how cpl is uh, the bigger question is what is the bigger question that how cpl will come to know whether this enterprise customer is um, saving energy right so to solve this question what they need they need some data points and sorry and these data points are um they need the telemetry data they need telemetry data from smart meters at certain interval at certain interval um and these this telemetry data should consist of at least three things the first is your time stamp the second is your identifier for the smart meter and the third is energy consumption in kilowatt per hour 
so these three things they need right now what the uh, cpl is thinking to give the contract to the third parties to collect this data on cpl's behalf right so let's say they have 2200k smart meters and these smart meters are let's say with 20k business customers let's say right so what cpl wants that they want some third parties to manage these uh, to collect the data from the smart meters and send this data uh, or create a api uh, which cpl can be used to see this data and to to kind of do some analysis whether uh, the rebate is applicable for this customer and all right now fabricam wants to and desires to to be one of the data provider for cpl right um so so what the next statement is fabricam wants to be the data provider for this cpl now to to be the data provider we need these things timestamp id and uh, energy consumed in kilowatt per hour um and we need to read data from this telemetry right and the data should be in as real time as possible so this data should be in near real time and why we need it real uh, near real time so that um customers can see the data consumption in near real time and can take decisions with okay so let's say uh, you are you left some ac on or you left some electricity appliances on and there is a peak like this right so what cpl and fabricam is looking for that customer should be alerted for any abnormal usage in near real time basis so that they can rectify the mistake right rather than uh, the report has been sent to them on monthly basis or bi weekly basis even on daily basis they want it to be in near real time maybe 15 minute or you know per minute basis if they want um so this is the problem statement right um so let's read it um uh in proper language so what we have this customer situation so fabricam provides smart meters um for um uh, and uh, for uh, um energy management right um and fabricam is kind of right now sending the printing reports to the customer then there's a ct cpl company right and the cpl company is um running a smart energy program uh, this energy program is nothing about Uh, nothing but a discounted rate for the electricity right and uh, it's for the customer who demonstrate energy savings across various uh, uh, areas right and the requirement is um, that okay there is a telemetry data the telemetry uh, uh, data includes uh, uh, time stamp identifier and uh, energy consumed per con- over the reporting interval right um fabricam Um, would like to become the authorized energy management server right now let's let's jump to few more details uh, right now they are what telemetry data they are they are storing they are uh, they collect all the telemetry data within on premise server and all telemetry data for the enterprises they monitor is stored as a flat files so this is their current situation right um, and um, what exactly um, they are looking for um they are looking for uh, near real time data so that they can um provide a hot dashboard in uh, of near real time metrics and which can offer some prediction over 15 minutes period right and now when we talk about the data size uh, so we have they have uh, 20000 businesses 200k smart meters and the um the size of each message is 100 bytes will and um, i'm talking about this point because these points are very very important when we 
will look for the solution so these are the key points what as a data engineer you should be looking for right and uh, they are planning to use uh, messaging queue telemetry transport and uh, advanced messaging queue protocol um, apart uh, apart from that um, the whole the bigger picture what Fabricam is looking for is uh, to be the number one um, data provider company for CPL right so this is uh, what the problem statement is from the customer point of view uh, now we can look for some solutioning and even uh, based on this uh, um, customer situation we can ask relevant questions so so let's let's think about it now right but yeah as of now after this video we or after this session we should have the clear picture about what customer problem is